Hello viewers, today here I am to tell you whether a hysteroscopic evaluation of the uterine cavity is essential prior to an embryo transfer. So we have to understand that the uterine cavity is the place where the embryos are going to be placed and that is the place where the embryos are going to be nurtured, implanted and grow. So it is very essential for us to do a basic uterine cavity evaluation prior to an embryo transfer. By doing this procedure, we will be able to assess the size of the uterine cavity, the adequacy of the uterine cavity, whether there is any presence of septum, polyp or any intrauterine additions inside the uterine cavity. If any, it's better to treat the cause. If there is a septum, it's better to remove the septum. If there are additions, it's always good to break the additions, give a two months gap and then plan for an embryo transfer and any endometrial polyp needs of sizes greater than 8 millimeter needs to be removed prior to the embryo transfer. By doing and check with a diagnostic hysteroscopy prior to embryo transfer, we can reduce the failure rates and also improve the implantation rates. Mm -hmm. And is it essential to do a laparoscopic procedure always prior to an embryo transfer? It is only when there is an indication like an intramural myoma or a submucosal myoma that needs to be removed or if there is any other hydrosulfinges in the fallopian tube or any ovarian cyst that needs to be treated prior to the embryo transfer. It is only when there is an indication that a laparoscope has to be inserted prior to embryo transfer. In all scenarios, only a diagnostic hysteroscopy will suffice the need.